How you doing, brothers and sisters? Boy, it's a beautiful day today. Wow. I'm going to go for a walk at the park. Talk Jesus. Talk the gospel. So, the question for a lot of people is, can we lose our salvation? Are we sanctified? Is sanctification a process? Now, if you read the book of Hebrews, it says, For by one offering we have been sanctified forever. Okay? So once you have placed your faith in the finished works of Jesus Christ on the cross, you are sanctified fully. Sanctification cannot be a process. And the reason being is because when you read the book of Romans... The flesh cannot please God. Okay? And we know a Christian has two natures. You have your spirit and you have your flesh. Okay? The flesh isn't gone when you become a believer or else you'd be dead. <laughs> right? And the reason we can't lose our salvation is because John 10, 28 through 29 says, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish, okay? Nobody can pluck us out of the Father's hand, all right? Jesus is very specific. He says, I and my Father are one, and no man can pluck them out of my hand, okay? So once you are in the palm of God's hand, there is nobody on God's green earth, his entire creation that he made, mind you, can pluck you from his hand, his grasp. You're in his hand, okay? He says no man can pluck you out, and that includes yourself. So if you've believed in the gospel of salvation, right, and you've trusted in Christ, then you are a child of God, you have been born again, and you have been sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. We are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. That's in the book of Peter. Okay, 1 Peter 1, I think verse 5, something like that, 3 through 5. So you can't lose your salvation, okay? We need to be confident of this very thing. All right, Philippians 1, 6. He who began a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. So we have promise after promise after promise after promise after promise in the Bible, in the scripture, the word of God that guarantees our salvation and our everlasting life by belief in Jesus. Okay? Unless you have believed in vain, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Okay, that's the gospel right there. Now, John 3, 16 is just as much the gospel as 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 is. Some people will say no, but I disagree. I'm not a hyper-dispensationalist. So yes, we are fully sanctified by the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Okay? Now, when you read the book of Galatians, all right, I think it's uh, chapter 5. Paul tells us, he says, If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Okay? So you can just be living in the Spirit. The Scripture's clear. But he says, let us walk in the Spirit. You know, as born-again believers who have been sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, we want to walk out this faith, okay? The book of James says, faith without works is dead. We don't want a dead faith, okay? We're focused on Jesus, all right? Faith without works is dead does not mean faith without works equals no salvation. That's not what that means. The book of James is simply describing the importance of our service to God, all right. Also, when you read 1 John, 
I forget which chapter it is. It's very clear that we are supposed to do what pleases God. Do those things that are pleasing in His sight. We want to please the Lord. We want to serve the Lord. We want to maintain good works. But none of that stuff can ever save us. All right? If those things could save us and we could earn our way into heaven, then we would not need Jesus Christ. And we all know we need a Savior. Because boy, are we wretched sinners. <laughs> Man, I don't know what I would do without God, without Jesus. I would be dead in my sins and my trespasses without hope. All right. So it's important to know that we have been sanctified. We have been made righteous. We have been justified. And we have the gift of eternal life, which no man, not even yourself, can take from you. Okay. We have an inheritance that is incorruptible and undefiled so that's the good news guys all right we are once saved always saved if you could lose your salvation i'm sure you would believe me no one on this earth could maintain such a heavenly gift right nobody could maintain salvation themselves and that's the whole point of Christ, right? Christ is our righteousness. We walk by faith, not by sight. So we're trusting in Him. We're trusting in His finished work. We're trusting in God in this Christian walk. Man, it is beautiful out today, guys. Wow, it's got to be close to 90 degrees. I am loving this. But yeah, moving on to YouTube from TikTok, so I'm not sure if any of you aren't following me on TikTok yet, but you can go to my TikTok. It's at Grace Armor, and I got close to 40,000 followers. You know, I got a lot of videos on there you guys can search through. You can check out my playlist. I talk about Calvinism. I talk about Hebrews 26, willful sin. I talk about, you know, is Jesus God? Can we lose our salvation? All that good stuff. You guys will see it on there. It's at Grace Armor. Okay. G R A C E Armor. A R M O R. You'll see it on my YouTube page. Go to my main YouTube page and I have the link up in my cover photo where it says Grace Armor Just Believe. And I also got my uh, my Facebook group on there and my Instagram link. So you guys can check out my stuff, follow me. You know, if you guys want to send me a message on Instagram, you can uh, you can DM me, direct message me. If you have any questions about, about the Lord, I would be more than happy to do my best to answer for you. But the reason I'm moving on to YouTube is because TikTok only gives you three options a 15 second video a 60 second video or three minutes okay and I've been I've been doing three minute videos for months now and it's just not enough time to get in everything you want to say about the Lord so that's why I'm coming on here to YouTube I made a video on my TikTok, you know asking people to follow me so again, if you're not following me on TikTok and you're new to my YouTube channel, I just ask that you give me a follow on YouTube and go check out my TikTok, Grace Armor. I would really, really appreciate it. I'd be forever thankful. But my goal and my mission in life is to save as many souls as possible. All right. Jesus told us to go into the world and preach the gospel preach the good news all right faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god so when we preach the word of god that my friends is when the holy ghost will fall on people that's where faith begins because how will they hear 
unless we preach? And how will we preach unless we be sent? So, it's all about faith, guys. Okay, I'm past the 10 minute mark here. Just wanted to make a quick 10 minute video about the good news, about salvation, being sanctified. There's gonna be a lot more videos to come, guys. So, keep me in your prayers. I'll be praying for you guys too. You know, you can uh, share this video with whoever you want. I went into my I went into my settings on YouTube and I made it so people can share these things. Cuz we got to get the gospel out there, guys. Souls need saved. All right? So I love you guys. You're in my prayers. God bless.